Stay tuned. Coming up next on Battle of the Planets, one of Saturn Neptune's most trusted agents turns out to be a defector. Will G-Force find a way to stop their friend from selling out to the enemy aliens from Planet Spectra? It's Zoltar! We can't let him get away this time! All right. Can Mark, the commander of G-Force, stow away in Zoltar's spaceship and remain undiscovered long enough to rescue the daughter of the security agent? Be sure to watch this exciting episode, coming up next. G-Force, five incredible young people with superpowers. And watching over them from Center Neptune, Seven Zark Seven. Watching, warning against surprise attack by alien galaxies from beyond space. young orphans protecting Earth's entire galaxy. Always five, acting as one, dedicated, inseparable, invincible. When everything is calm and peaceful deep beneath the waves here at Center Neptune, I try to sneak a moment for a refreshing ablution. That means a nice soothing olive oil shower Oil drops are falling on my head, but that don't mean I... Oh dear, that intercom always buzzes when I'm in the shower. Yes, yes, I'm coming. Santa Neptune Control, 7 Zark 7. Hello, Zark. This is Susan at Early Warning out on planet Pluto. Oh, Susan, well, I hope you... Oh! Sark, what's wrong? I think I just threw my Fosdick out of place. Oh! Oh, that's a shame. A slipped Fosdick can be so painful. Do you think it's age catching up with you? Susan, I'm still under full factory warranty. Well, you listen to me. Just lie prone on your slant board until your Fosdick slips back into place. I can't lie down. I can't even move. Besides, I've got the entire galaxy to keep watch over. All right. I'll call Center Neptune Maintenance and have them send a technician over right away. Hang in there, Zark. Thanks, Susan. Bye. Ooh. What am I going to do, one rover one? Chief Anderson and G-Force are away from the center on detached duty. They are at Intergalactic Federation headquarters, checking on a lead from my computers about a Spectra spy who seems to be operating within our central security agency. What's Greg doing with that? How come you're not in your office, Greg? Where are you going? Greg, I'm talking to you. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sorry. I was thinking of something else. Yeah. Greg, a traitor.
There it is. When they go over the wall, they go fast and unexpectedly. You couldn't ask for a better man than Greg. He's been with us for 10 years and always performed with complete integrity. Now he's about to hand over our master code to Spectra. What could have happened? I haven't known him as long as you, but he always seemed okay. I don't know. I can't believe he finds Spectra's philosophy of intergalactic domination attractive. <clears throat> you know, some of those brainy guys have mixed up private lives. Of course, you never know. He's been a widower for years. Maybe he's seeing a woman. And if he's fed her any secrets at all, Spectra will never let him up. He never impressed me as the type to give out secrets. That's true. But we saw with our own eyes. I had a funny, you might call it a premonition. I looked across the street at the Bry building, the place intelligence thinks may be Spectra's local base, and I felt he was heading there. That's funny. I had a premonition he'd be going to Disco Don's for one of those great chocolate drinks. No matter how fond we are of him personally, there is no doubt we've got to stop him. Could be Greg is under some intense pressure, perhaps a ransom demand or blackmail. It's obviously a rough time in his life, but we must assume he intends to make it rough on us. We'll talk to him. Maybe he doesn't know what he's getting into. They got the best hot chocolate in the galaxy right here. <laughs> You got worst manners. How are you going to know if it's good to the last drop if you don't get to the last drop? Knock it off. We're here on Princess's Hunch. But if it's no better than the Chiefs, it's a pretty expensive gamble. I'll pick up the tab. Greg comes here every day. Why should you pay? Even if he doesn't show up, you took us to a great place. Besides, he's here. I could use better material for this act. Just take care of yourself. What'll you have, sir? I guess the usual. Give me a chocolate. May I check your attaché case for you, sir? Certainly not. Yes, sir. I've been waiting for you, Greg. For what, Mark? Shh. I'm defecting. Why confide in me? Uh, because I've always sensed in you a kindred spirit. Someone who might be helpful to me. There's an ugly word for talk like that. Treason. Follow me. Hey! Who's gonna take care of the chocolate? Who's gonna take care of Mark? How far is this place you're taking me? Not far. Just out in the country. That's good. Just as long as we can't be overheard. Who's the fox? The fox, as you call her, is my daughter, Amanda. She's sure pretty. And brilliant. And as sweet as her dead mother. You're a very fortunate man, Greg. Yes, fortunate. I haven't seen her for three days. I don't know where she is. I get it now. She's in Spectra's hands. Run away? <laughs> My electron force shield is escape proof. Consider yourself a prisoner. This will hold you until I can call Chief Anderson. Then he'll just send some police over here, and you'll see how traitors are handled. Uh, Dr. Craig, you have kept me waiting for the last 30 minutes. You are off on the wrong foot. If you wish to have a continuing relationship, you had best get over here right away. Greg, don't be a fool. Take me with you. I can help you get your daughter back. Wait! Greg, wait! Calling G-Force. Come in. Go ahead. Greg Splick. I bugged his car. Go after him. Big Ten. Let's go! You bet! Yeah. What about the drinks? Very good. Thanks! I just hate to give away bad drinks! Hang on, Mandy. I'll have you back in an hour. I hate to spoil his plans, but I can't sit here all day.
my man Mark, always using the old think tank. Now then, which building would you say he's in? Didn't the chief have a hunch about the Bry building? That one? I don't go in for hunches. And I sure don't buy two hunches coming through on the same day. Anybody got a can opener? Never mind. Kiop, that doesn't belong to you. Handles like a baby. Even counts. See? Secret passage. We'll be right down. See if you can stay put for a minute. <laughs> Welcome at last, Dr. Gregg. And I see you have brought something precious with you. Wish I knew why. We both know why. You want to see your charming daughter again. But, but isn't there a... Can't we... Come on. At last, the master code of the Intergalactic Federation. Now, Spectra can intercept all of the top secret messages of G-Force. You don't know how it feels to turn your back on your planet, to make targets of your friends and colleagues. It is not only your daughter we have in our hands. You mentioned friends and colleagues? I don't know how they got here. I didn't tell anybody. I'm far from unhappy that they're here. On the contrary, I'm delighted. Dispose of them. Don't ask me to become an assassin on top of everything else. Isn't it enough to be reduced to a traitor? Reduced to work for Spectra? Watch your step, Greg. I have grave doubts that you're the man for us, Dr. Greg. In fact, I have grave doubts that you're a man at all. Take this back. We can't do business. No, I'll prove you made the right choice. I won't lose Amanda. Keep in mind, I want you to finish them all. Otherwise, I may be forced to move against your daughter. Trust Kiop to fall into the right place. This way, team. Down, anyone? Ha <laughs> ha! What you should have said was, down, everyone! <laughs> Should have said up. Somebody's doing his best to put us out of commission. Yeah. Good start. Yo yo, princess. Gotcha. I'm gonna try to stop it from inside. It's not working. Come up. Here goes. Hang on now. I'm trying, believe me. Ooh, ooh, pull up. Trying. It's awful, One Rover One. I feel derelict in my duty. All of G-Force, except Mark, is in terrible trouble. And maintenance has me hung up here with a slipped Fosdick, so I can't help. I've got to try to get in touch. <laughs> No use. I can't make it. And I've got to get back to my controls. If Spectra somehow gets hold of our master code, it could spell disaster for the entire galaxy. I know you'll keep watch one rover one, and I just hope I can get back in shape in time to avert catastrophe. Get set! Don't just hang there, do something. My man! Somebody. It's Greg. We better be on guard. Oh. Why, hello there, Mark. It's good to see you without your new friends. They may not be far behind. Watch out, Greg. This thing could be very dangerous. 
you won't be able to defeat Zoltar and rescue your daughter all by yourself? Let us help you. We're trained for this kind of work. I must have been mad. Help me, G-Force. Mark, look! There's Zoltar! Get him! I'll get to his spaceship. The rest of you look after Gray. Ah, good. on to follow Zolta. Yes. yes. Take a good look at this and don't forget it. This will bring us victory over G-Force. Today, G-Force. Tomorrow, the universe. bomb I've ever seen is right back there, set to go off in 15 seconds. You'd better get out fast. Hey, he's right. Forgive me, I didn't mean to hold you so closely. Forgive you? It's the nicest thing that ever happened to me. No one has ever made me feel like this. You mustn't say such things. Poor girl. She'd feel that way about anyone who saved her. I can't get entangled. G-Force, come in. I've got Greg's daughter. She's OK. What about Zoltar? Does he still have the master code to the Federation? He split with it, Jason. We'll have to get it back. Or we'll have to recipher all our codes. That'll take months. No, you won't. Why not? I know I look weak, but I never intended Spectre to have our code. I was only trying to get Amanda back safely. The machine I gave Zoltar is rigged to erase as it runs. It'll do him no good. Now for the secret code. What is this? No punch holes. It's coming out blank. What can you expect of a traitor? I never dreamed that things that looked so black yesterday could be so bright today. I got to apologize to you, Greg. I thought you were mixed up with Spectra. I could never sell my friends and country down the drain. I just wanted to save my daughter. I thought I'd have a better chance by myself. I was wrong. I couldn't have done it without all of you. I'm so grateful to G-Force. We're happy we were able to help. Your father will be arriving soon. It's touching to see how much he loves you. I know it isn't nice to say because Daddy has gone through a lot for me, but I wish someone else would care for me too. Someone else will. I want you to know how I feel. Mandy! Oh! Mandy! Mandy! Daddy! Daddy! Oh, my darling baby. Daddy! Oh, thank you, Daddy. You must meet the man who... Oh! No, no, I'm sure he had his reasons for leaving. Maybe you'll meet him again somewhere. Let's go home. 
Why don't you try a piece of fruit? Daddy, can't you see I'm restless, not hungry? My mind just isn't on food. No, it's on that young man, if I had to make a guess. What's the difference? He obviously isn't thinking of me. Now that's my sensible girl. We must be realistic. Someone else will come along. Mark, I know there must be someone else. I only wish it could have been me. I have my duties to G-Force. My affections for Princess. I mustn't encourage her. I'm proud of Mark. Yes, he was determined. Hard, maybe. Sure, her heart is broken, but she'll get over Mark. And his life is so dangerous. It's unfair to ask anyone to share it. Well, Amanda's heart may be broken, but that's not nearly as painful as a slipped Fosdick. She doesn't know what real suffering is. It's no use. If maintenance doesn't get here pretty soon, I may be forced to resign. Hello, Zark. We've missed you. Mark, Princess. I don't know what to say about my performance today. It's just we were concerned because we didn't hear from you on the whole mission. Is anything wrong, Zark? I hate to tell you, but I have a slipped Fosdick. We didn't know. I'm so sorry, Zark. I hope you'll be better soon. That did it. My Fosdick is back in place. A little love is the best solution in the world for anything. <laughs> I hope Susan will understand.